Dear colleagues, summer is nearly over and the fall quarter begins soon. Let's pause for a moment to thank our colleagues who retired this summer. They are the newest members of the UC Davis Emeriti. For decades, they strive to make UC Davis a better place. And many of them will remain engaged in research, teaching, and the public service. One of such examples is distinguished Professor Emeritus Gary Vermey, who retired two years ago and remains very active coming to work every single day. Today is August 1st, 2024, mid of the summer, and here is Dr. Vermey walking to his office. You have been retired for two years. Two years, but I'm still working very hard. <laughs> I've been, I published eight papers this year, eight last year, and a book. So I'm busy and loving it. So what makes the, the work so exciting? Because other people, when they retire, they can't wait to retire, so they no longer show up in their workplace. You know, I have been curious about pretty much everything all my life, and that has not waned at all. I, I just find everything interesting. I read every day, I do research every day, I write every day, and it's all wonderful. I, just knowing things, trying to understand things, that's what my life is all about. Discovering new things every day. Uh, I, I just love the whole quest of understanding and knowing things. And uh, there, there's no other, no other institution in human affairs that enables us to do quite the same thing. That's what I love. And what are you doing right now? I am actually going through the literature <laughs> to find examples of uh, lineages that have become restricted geographically after having had a broader distribution. And that literature is incredibly scattered. And so I'm checking out all the papers I've read about this and uh, making lists for a paper I'm writing. <laughs> So it's tedious but necessary work. And work I actually enjoy because I inevitably find things I forgot about uh, on other topics. And uh, so it's, it's great. Uh, we are so fortunate our faculty remain involved after they retire and that we continue to benefit from their vast experience and knowledge. They remain engaged because they are deeply invested in our mission and they recognize the positive impact of the work we are doing. We are grateful for their continuing contributions and their enduring commitment to UC Davis. I want to congratulate all the new emeriti for your many years of service from UC Davis. Uh, I'm currently president of the U University of California Davis Emeriti Association, and I would very much like to invite you to join us in our many activities, including a video records project, a mentorship program, fundraising, activities, brain food talks, and uh, meetings with our Emeriti colleagues across the UC system. Congratulations again, and thank you for, to Walter for organizing. Uh, congratulations to all faculty members of the Academic Federation and Academic Senate who retired in 2023-24. Here are some of the newest members of the UC Davis Emeriti. Stuart Myers is a professor emeritus in the Department of Anatomy, uh, Physiology and Cell Biology at the School of Veterinary Medicine. Professor Myers is a veterinarian and reproductive biologist. He is a board certified clinical specialist by the American College of Theogenologists and has more than 160 peer-reviewed publications on equine and canine male fertility and embryo development. Dr. Myers received the 2023 Bartlett Lifetime Achievement Award from the Society for Theriogenology and American College of Theriogenology and was awarded the 2023 SVM Faculty Distinguished Teaching Award in the School of Veterinary Medicine. 
Dr. Myers also received the 2023 UC Davis Distinguished Teaching Award for Graduate and Professional Teaching and was previously awarded a Favorite Teacher Award by the UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine freshman class. Dr. Myers' research in sperm metabolism, mitochondrial function, cryopreservation and horse fertility has been recognized by presentations at several national and international veterinary scientific conferences in clinical and reproductive cell biology. Peter Mundy, Emeritus Distinguished Professor of Education and Psychiatry and the Behavioral Sciences College of Letters and Science. Dr. Mundy was president of the International Society for Autism Research, INSAR 2019-2021, and received the 2024 Lifetime Achievement Award from INSAR. Dr. Mundy studies the role that social attention plays in the diagnosis and treatment of autism, as well as in social and intellectual development. His work identified the central role uh, joint attention in the social communication and social cognitive symptoms of autism. This had a significant impact on the development of diagnostic measures and early intervention methods. He also reported the first observations of the neural networks involved in the development of joint attention. In the School of Education, his work focused on the impact of joint attention on learning in school-aged autistic children and with colleagues at the Mind Institute, he is exploring the role of joint attention in intelligence. Vaidehi Ramanathan, Professor Emerita, Department of Linguistics, College of Letters and Science. Dr. Vaidehi Ramanathan is an applied sociolinguist interested in two primary areas of research, language policy and language and health. Dr. Ramanathan's publications in these areas include over 10 books and edited volumes, as well as over 75 articles. In language policy, her research addresses concerns regarding education, multilingualism, and dominant and minority languages. In language and health, Dr. Ramanathan's work focuses on the context of doctor-patient interactions and issues of language and memory. Scott Simon, Distinguished Professor Emeritus, Department of Biomedical Engineering, College of Engineering. Distinguished Professor Scott Simon is a founding faculty of the Department of Biomedical Engineering and an adjunct in dermatology. A biomedical engineer and immunologist, Scott studies the innate immune system and its role in acute and chronic inflammation with a focus on the mechanobiology of white blood cells during recruitment to inflamed tissues. His lab developed vascular mimetic microfluidic lab on a chips to control hydrodynamic forces, facilitating the discovery of adhesion receptor dynamics associated with host immune inflammatory signaling. Studies in humans with autoimmune and cardiovascular disease and mouse models of skin wounding and infection have set the stage for new anti-inflammatories that target integrin and selectin adhesion uh, molecules. He is a fellow of the Biomedical Engineering Society and the American Institute for Medical and Biological Engineering. He served as director of the Bioengineering Institute of California and vice president of science policy at FISEB. Bruce German, Distinguished Professor Emeritus, Department of Food Science and Technology, College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. Dr. German is a Distinguished Professor in the Department of Food Science and Technology and Director of the Foods for Health Institute. Dr. German's research has been broadly pursuing milk as a model for precision nutrition to interrogate mammalian lactation and milk using systems biology strategies as a model to understand how uh, diet uh, can uh, influence human health. His research also focuses on infants to understand the role of uh, breast milk in infant development. This includes the identification of specific bacterial strains like Bifidobacterium longum, uh, subspecies, infantes, that the research has demonstrated to be crucial for shaping the gut microbiome and its functions within breastfed babies. Dr. German co-founded a company to provide the beneficial B. longum infantis bacteria to infants born by C-section or exposed to antibiotics. Distinguished Professor Lin S. Kimsey, Department of Entomology. Dr. Kimsey is an entomologist interested in the systematics of stinging wasps, insect biotic uh, diversity, and urban entomology. 
She was also uh, director of the Bohart Museum of Entomology and executive director of the Bohart Museum Society. She provided insect diagnostics for the public and corporations, non-profit organizations and governmental agencies. Her research focused primarily on cuckoo wasps, hornets and typhoid wasps, describing more than 30 new genera and 300 new species of wasps. Her field work included biotic surveys of the insect fauna of various desert sand dune systems in California and tropical habitats in Central America and Southeast Asia. Among her awards are the Entomological Society of America C.W. Woodworth Award and the Systematics Evolution and Biodiversity Award. Leonard Abeduto, Professor Emeritus, Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences, uh, School of Medicine. Dr. Abeduto recently stepped down as director of the MIND Institute, leading the world-renowned Research and Clinical Care Institute for nearly 12 years and transitioned to emeritus faculty. Dr. Abeduto S. research is focused broadly on language development across the lifespan in individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities and on the family context for language development. Dr. Abeduto has published over 250 articles, chapters, reviews, and books on uh, Fragile X Syndrome, Autism, Down Syndrome, and Child Development. He serves as co-director of the NIH-funded MIND Institute, Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities Research Center, IDDRC, which provides core support to more than 40 scientists. He also co-directs the UC Davis Redwood Seed Scholars Program, a four-year residential inclusive college program uh, for uh, individuals with intellectual disabilities. Lynette Hart, uh, Professor Emerita, Department of Population Health and Reproduction School of Veterinary Medicine. Professor Lynette Hart in the Department of Population Health and Reproduction School of Veterinary Medicine has spearheaded uh, research and teaching at UC Davis regarding human uh, animal interactions and conducted field research in animal behavior of large mammals, especially elephants. Publishing over 150 papers and several books, uh, her early work documenting the socializing effects of service dogs for people with disabilities remains relevant today as communities here and abroad uh, seek creative ways to ameliorate loneliness for isolated people. She pioneered and continues building awareness of the significance to pet owners and veterinarians of animal death. With Benjamin Hart, she advocated with evidence personalized neutering ages for dogs by breed. Her rewarding and ongoing collaborations with students include studies on pet ownership in Asian countries, uh, highlighting cultural contrasts. Dr. Hart is a founding member and fellow of the International Society for Anthrozoology and was selected as the first ISAS Distinguished Anthrozoologist in 2017. Um, Frank R. Sharp, Distinguished Professor, Department of Neurology, School of Medicine. Professor Frank Sharp obtained a BS in Engineering at UC Davis and an MD from UCSD. Uh, after a Duke internship, an NIH research fellowship, and three years of neurology residency at UCSF, he became an assistant professor of neurology at UCSD. He has since served on neurology faculties at UCSF, University of Cincinnati, and for the last 20 years at UCD. Dr. Sharp received two dozen uh, teaching awards over his career and was designated a distinguished professor at UCD. He pioneered the measurement of local brain glucose metabolism, CFOS as a neuronal activity marker, and blood hole genome studies of stroke in humans. Dr. Sharp has a daughter, Renee, with his first wife, Mary, of 15 years, and a daughter, uh, Allison, and son, Ben, with his current wife, Leslie Drummond Hay, of 34 years. He is forever grateful for his wonderful family, friends, and career. Uh, Stephen M. Wheeler, Professor Emeritus of Urban Design and Sustainability, Department of Human Ecology, College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. Dr. Wheeler is a Professor Emeritus in the Department of Human Ecology at UC Davis and former chair of the Community Development Graduate Group. 
He has written widely on sustainable cities and social change. Dr. Wheeler's books include The Sustainable Urban Development Reader, 4th edition, Routledge 2023, Reimagining Sustainable Cities, UC Press 2021, Planning for Sustainability, 3rd edition, Forthcoming, and Climate Change and Social Ecology, 2012. He was UCD's 2022 Faculty Sustainability Champion. He received the 2015 Academic Leadership Award from the California Climate and Agriculture Network CalCAN, the 2009 Liu, William R. and June Dale Prize for Excellence in Urban and Regional Planning and a Switzer Fellowship for Environmental Leadership. Esther S. Kim, Professor Emerita Eye Center School of Medicine. Clinical Professor Esther Kim is a comprehensive ophthalmologist with additional training in ophthalmic pathology. Her passion has been education and service. She has trained over 100 ophthalmology residents in 24 years and is involved in several uh, missions providing eye care in underserved areas. Dr. Kim has participated in clinical research that launched anti-VEFG treatment for AMD and established guidelines for treating ocular hypertension. Alan L. Balk, Distinguished Professor, Department of Chemistry, College of Letters and Science. Dr. Balk is an inorganic chemist who specializes in the soccer ball-shaped fullerenes. He retired in November after 56 years on the University of California faculty. Dr. Balk is therefore the faculty who has served the university for the longest time. Alan. 56 years. Why you stay so long in this job? Because I enjoyed what I was doing and uh, was one of the most pleasant things to do. Can you tell a little bit how was UC Davis at the time that you arrived here and how these 56 years were distributed? You start first at the University of California, Los Angeles, right? I started at UCLA. I was there four years. I moved here in 1970. At that time, I could drive into campus and park Right out in front of the chemistry building, there were no parking fees. It was not paved. I just parked there. If I looked behind me, there was a field of, of, or a pen of sheep where the silo currently is. And we could see where the sheep rubbed up against the building. And um, we also uh, had the nice smells coming from the hog barn, which was over in the engineering area. Um, the campus there were many, many fewer buildings, um, but it was very easy to get access to the department. What are your best memories of these 56 years? Probably with my graduate students. Uh, every time a new graduate student took the risk of having me as, as a research advisor, I was, I was thrilled. And uh, I, you know, I always thought this is gonna be my last student. And that kept going on for at least 15 years. And um, I finally have reached the point where I have my last graduate student. Today's Friday. It's summer, and I come to your office to record this interview. I so you that. retire, but you're still working. That's true. My wife complains about that sometimes. But uh, yeah, I'm still, I'm still here. I'm still writing papers. And I'm still working with a couple of graduate students. and. Uh, and I just made plans to teach a freshman seminar uh, for next quarter. Julia Menard Warwick, Professor Emerita, Department of Linguistics, College of Letters and Science. Julia Menard Warwick started as Assistant Professor of Linguistics at UCD in 2004, immediately after finishing her PhD in education at Berkeley. While at UCD, she taught general uh, linguistics, applied linguistics, and sociolinguistics to students from the first year to PhD level. She had two Fulbright fellowships, one to Chile 2005-2006 uh, and another to Algeria 2022-2023 and served as a visiting professor with the UC Education Abroad Program in Mexico City 2016. Dr. Menard Warwick's research focused on language learning and teaching in community settings, most significantly with a parent program at a California bilingual elementary school where she volunteered from 2011, 2020 and conducted ethnographic research from 2014 
2016. This resulted in her 2019 monograph, Bilingual Parent Participation in a Divided School Community, Critical uh, Multilingualism Series, Routledge. So having retired to spend more time with family, including her granddaughter and elderly mother, Dr. Menard Warwick continues collaborating with former students, most recently co-editing a volume on Spanish racial linguistics. Mohamed Hafez, Professor Emeritus, Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering, College of Engineering. Professor Hafez is interested in computational science and engineering with applications in aerodynamics and fluid dynamics. He is also interested in STEM education for undergraduate and graduate students. He taught uh, numerical methods and aerodynamics to undergraduate students and partial differential equations and computational fluid dynamics to graduate students. He also taught first year seminars including numerical calculus, what makes airplanes fly, rocket science and how satellites work. Dr. Hafez co-authored two books, Theoretical and Applied Aerodynamics with Professor J.J. Chatot, 2015 and Introduction to Computer Simulations for uh, Integrated STEM College Education with William Tavernetti, 2019. His research interests are um, transonic aerodynamics, computational fluid dynamics, and STEM college education. Jeffrey Schlado, Professor Emeritus, Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, College of Engineering. Professor Schlado's research program in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering and UC Davis Tahoe Environmental Research Center has focused on the interactions between the complex fluid motions in nature and their impacts on water quality, ecosystem health, and watershed processes. This work has applications in aquatic ecosystems, including rivers, lakes, estuaries, and oceans. Dr. Schlado's expertise is in the fluid mechanics field measurements and developing and utilizing numerical models. In 2004, he was appointed the founding director of the Tahoe Environmental Research Center, TERC, and served until his retirement at the end of 2023. During this time, TERC transitioned from a small, primarily ecological research unit to a multidisciplinary campus-wide science and engineering center with research and science education across the globe. Gail Taylor, Distinguished Professor Emerita, Department of Plant Sciences, College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. Distinguished Professor Gail Taylor and John B. Orr, Professor of Environmental Plant Sciences, Chair of the Department of Plant Sciences 2017-2024, is a plant scientist. Dr. Taylor is interested in linking plant genetics to an understanding of how plants react to the environment. She researches adaptation across natural climate gradients to understand responses to current and future environmental threats, including limited water supply and rising atmospheric carbon dioxide. Dr. Taylor is keen to use this knowledge to find plant-based solutions for a sustainable future, such as working on fast-growing trees as a feedstock for sustainable aviation fuels using genetics and genomics to develop leafy green crops with reduced food waste and quantifying the epigenetic mechanisms that are underpinning adaptive responses to the changing climate. On retirement from UC Davis, she was appointed Dean of Life Science at the University College London, a top 10 globally ranked university where she is also the Quain Professor of Botany, Department of Genetics, Evolution and Environment. Paul G. Fitzgerald, Distinguished Professor Emeritus, Department of Cell Biology and Human Anatomy and Department of Ophthalmology and Vision Science, School of Medicine. Dr. Fitzgerald's studies contributed to discovering and characterizing a new class of intermediate protein found only in the eye's lens. They ranged from gene structure to their role in causing human blindness. Using site-directed spin labeling slash electron paramagnetic, they were the first to solve the structure of an intermediate filament protein rod domain. They extended this work to show structural changes that occurred during assembly slash disassembly and changes that resulted from disease-causing mutations. Dr. Fitzgerald is a recipient of the Academic Senate Distinguished Teaching Award, the Soames C. John Tupper Prize for Teaching, and an eight-time recipient of the Kaiser Award for Excellence. He served as Department Chair for 15 years, Associate Dean for Graduate Studies, Director of the UCD Center for Vision Science, Chair of the Soames Faculty, 
and is an elected fellow of ARVO and AAA. With the new academic year right around the corner, I know our professors of Meritai are feeling the energy at UC Davis as we prepare to greet our incoming class of students. I want to extend a welcome to all our Meritai professors and encourage you to remain involved in our vibrant campus activity. Just as you've been such an important part of our success, you will continue to play a vital role in shaping the future of UC Davis. Like distinguished professor emeritus Gary Verme, the many members of the Emeriti remain active in campus life. Their continued engagement in research, scholarly and creative work, teaching, mentoring, and service is vital to our continued growth and achievement. I invite you to join them and welcome your support and continued contribution to what makes UC Davis such an extraordinary place for innovative work supporting our mission to build a more inclusive, sustainable world while we tackle the world's greatest challenges. The UC Davis Emeriti Association has resources and many opportunities to serve the UC Davis community. I look forward to seeing you on campus and your continued investment in building a better future together. Thank you, Chancellor LeMay and congratulations to all colleagues who retired in 23-24. They are the newest members of the UC Davis Emeriti. In closing, I would like to add a shout out to distinguished professor Alan Bauch from the Department of Chemistry, who served the University of California for 56 years. As I mentioned in the video, Alan is an inorganic chemist However, he contributed also to bio-inorganic fields, in particular with his studies of the role of heme iron in the cleavage of the double bond in molecular oxygen, and also the destruction of the heme group. Dr. Bouch has studied the formation, the reaction of metal-metal bonds, and the ability to produce luminescent molecules. Currently, he's studying the reactivity of metal complex with crystals. Dr. Bauti received the Cotton Award from the American Chemical Society. He's a fellow of the American Chemical Society and the AAAS. Dr. Bauti served as department chair during the transformation of the College of Letters and Science into three divisions in the mid-1990s. Thank you, Alan, for your service to UC Davis and for making this university a better place to all of us. Thank you to all newest members of the Meritai and thank you for watching.